As we continue on building our Big Cats project, we pick up here where we left off in the last video. In this video, we're going to want to add some other video that we've sourced from the web. In order to do that, we need to create a new slide in our Spark project. We'll come down here to this plus sign, click that, and you can see that it adds another slide. You would continue to add slides in your project for every picture or new video that you want to add. Then, if we come up here, this window is already up for us. If it's not, you would just select the plus sign and then click video. Now, we have to navigate back to where we have our video that we've sourced from the web. In my case, it's in the Adobe Spark tutorial in a folder called video. I'm going to select this video and then click open. After I do that, you'll see the video appear here in the add video window for Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark will only allow you to add 30 seconds of video at a time. To do that, you'll need to grab this handle, click, hold it, and drag it all the way over for 30 seconds. Then, up in the right hand corner, select save. Once your video is saved, you'll see it down here in this slide, and it will only be 30 seconds. But you noticed that the video that you sourced from the web is longer than 30 seconds. How do you add to it? Come up here, and you'll see this button, the continue clip. If you select this, it'll bring you right back to here and pick up where you left off with your video at exactly 30 seconds. Then take this handle, click and hold it down for another 30 seconds and click save. Now, if you look down here in your timeline, you can see that you have a 30 second clip here and a 30 second clip here. That's one minute of the video that you sourced from the web. You probably noticed that the video was a little over two minutes in length. If you need all of that video, you would continue on up here, hit the edit button, hit the continue clip, and pick up again where you left off, dragging this out to 30 seconds, and then click save. And you would do that for the entire video if you needed the entire video imported into your Spark project. Now, if you look down here, you'll see that there are three slides that contain 30 seconds of the video that we imported. And they'll play together as if the video was one minute and 30 seconds long. If you needed the whole two minutes, you would just continue on in this fashion until your entire video was imported. Also, just like we did with the pictures, you can come over here to the layout, and right now we're in full screen, but you could select split screen and you can see how that changes there or caption or title and text and you could come over here and put text while this played. I'm going to go back to full screen. You also have an option here if you click in the video to click edit and if you click this little speaker icon, it's the clip volume, you can either mute the sound that comes with the video, make it soft, or make it loud. And you have other functions for editing the video here too, such as trimming it and zooming in or zooming out. And that's it for importing some video that you've sourced from the web into your Adobe Spark project.